Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and in today's video, we're doing a backup camera on this 2001 Toyota Sienna. Now, in this install, we're going to show you how to integrate this backup camera to an existing aftermarket radio. Let's get started. Now here at the bench, the camera that we're using in our install here today is a Natika camera. It's a license plate or universal mount type camera. Uh, we already had mounted our camera on the license plate bracket that's included within the kit. And it comes with the wiring harness needed to integrate this camera to an existing screen that has an RCA analog camera input. Now in this kit, this cable itself, this end will run up to the radio. It provides a trigger or a way to power the camera. And running in parallel with the with the cable itself is this red wire. It also ties into this red wire here. They just run in parallel as well as the ground. So this is your power and ground harness. Now you can power your camera in two different ways. You can power it on accessory, meaning it'll be on when the radio is on. You can use the camera more often than just in reverse. Or the easier and simpler way would be just to power the camera off the reverse light power and ground, which is simply hooking this up to power and ground at the reverse light. And then this would go to the trigger back behind the radio. It's easier, but unfortunately that would only allow the camera to be on when in reverse, where some radios today have the function to call upon the camera at any time. So what we're gonna do is the actual um, accessory route where we're not going to be hooking up our power at the reverse light. We'll cap this off. We'll power our camera using the trigger wire. We'll hook this up to accessory. That'll pass through and power the camera. And then we'll ground the camera just in the back as well. But unfortunately, now we have to run a separate trigger wire, which will just run another 18 gauge along with this. So without further ado, let's head over to the car, start tearing apart the hatch. Begin. All right, so with the back apart, here is the axis we need to use the hatch um, boot to run our wiring through. You can drill, but ideally you wanna use some sort of rubber grommet just so you don't have any issue when um, sealing up and around with want corrosion or uh, to cut a wire or anything like that. So we're gonna use the factory boot and snake our wire through this hole um, and the mount our camera. Alright, so here is the grommet from the top side. We just went ahead and cut a little piece out of it so we could pass our wire through. Then we reseated that grommet. And now we can go ahead and reseat this panel. We got our license plate camera all mounted there. Now this is where our wire passes on through here. Again, it's not getting pinched. I mean, I actually can move it around in and out. That's what we wanted. We don't want that to be pinched in there at all, but we're gonna zip tie it to the existing loom. And we gotta run our wiring down along the factory loom. We gotta pass it through the factory boot so we can pull it into the cabin. Then from here, we're gonna go down, work our way forward to the aftermarket radio. Looking a little bit closer, we do have remnants of a past backup camera here. Um, and we're gonna do the same to tap into this. Now, if you are simply just tapping into power and ground and gonna power the camera off the reverse light, all you have to do is tap into this and ground is your white with a black stripe here. And then the little pigtail off the RCA end can go just the remote trigger on the back of the radio. And as simple as that, you'd be done. But we're gonna take it a step further, run it off accessory and run an extra trigger wire just so we can use the camera more often than in reverse. So we'll tap into this. We're gonna take these guys out. These are poor quality um, and uh, we'll solder in today. So let's start prepping to run our wiring. We had to pull this apart as well so we can start running our wire into the cabin. All 
All right, so what we've done here is we've tapped into that. We removed those piggyback type taps and repaired our power and ground. We reconnected those. Now, what? how we connected our camera is we connected the black wire of our camera power to the, essentially the white with the black stripe. That's always your grounds on Toyotas. So we soldered in there, we re-soldered, got that all done, and we'll re-loom this harness with some electrical tape and tested tape. And same thing, we repaired the power side of the light too, but alternatively, we also added in our purple wire. Now, the reason why we're not just hooking this one up is because if we hook the other end up to accessory of the red wire, it would turn on our reverse lights all the time, and we don't want that. So we have to run our own separate trigger wire. This will go to the reverse gear input of our radio. And since we're powering the camera on the other end of this to accessory, this end won't be needed. So we're gonna cap this guy on off. And what we did is we continued down along connected our harness here. We fish that through. Now we need to work this through the grommet into the car. And then from there, we'll go down the seal, work it forward, go into the aftermarket radio. Right. So what we've done here is now we need to prepare to pull this wire through our grommet. Using a hanger, we fished it through the grommet first. And what we've done is we hooked our wire to it. And we're gonna loop this up really well with some soap and water so it's nice and slippery. And then we're gonna pull this on through. We have to make sure we go through this uh, plastic piece as well. And then we'll go down inside the headliner. So let's go ahead and pull it. We fished our RCA video wire as well as our purple trigger wire. Remember, this goes all the way back to the positive wire on the reverse light. And what we need to do is connect this into our radio's reverse gear trigger wire. Now, traditionally, they're purple white on your radio harness, but again, depends on the manufacturer as that wire color can differ. So we'll grab our harness adapter, and ours is marked reverse. What we'll do is plug that on in here. We have a Buck connector we'll just go ahead and crimp in just like so there we go so that goes to the reverse input again this only sees 12 volts when in reverse when that lights on that'll tell and indicate the radio to cycle over to the reverse mode when we're backing up little red wire pigtail that hangs off our video wire if you remember the other end we didn't use because we're going to be powering our camera off of accessory so also on our radio harness adapter we have an accessory red wire that we just tied into the red wires of our harness adapter. And we're gonna snag some of that power for us to power that camera whenever the car is on. So when the key is in, the camera is running, and that's gonna allow us to cycle over to the reverse mode um, at any time without actually having to back up, which is nice. So this plugs into the Camera input on the back of the radio with our other connections made, we can now get the radio reinstalled. So we got the radio wall back in. It's all looking great here. Now let's go ahead and put it automatically here in reverse. And it cycles over to the reverse camera. Now the hatch is open in the garage is set. That's what we're looking at. But we can readjust our guidelines as desired. If we pull it out of reverse, automatically cycles back to the previous source. 
Now, the biggest reason why we wired it the way we did is that we click on camera, we can pull the camera image up without having to go in reverse. Because again, we're powering the camera off of the accessory. Now, if you want to see how we installed this radio, we'll link that in the description as that video walks you through step-by-step -step on how to install this aftermarket unit and the factory location. Thanks again for watching. Hit the like button if you like what you saw. And don't forget to subscribe. We post great content on the channel all the time. And we will see you in the next video.